Hi, I'm Ben Mowry, a support engineer here at Autodesk, and today we'll be looking at tune shaders in Stingray. The concepts behind a tune shader are simple, but the step-by-step -step implementation involves shader code and is better presented in writing than in a video. So what we'll do today is look at the tune shader after it's been added to our Stingray project. So before watching this video, please read the tutorial posted to the Autodesk Stingray forum and our blog. The URL will be given in the description of this video. The tutorial covers all of the implementation details and how to get this tune shader running in your own project. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at the tune shader. This is the vehicle demo, one of the example projects that ships with Stingray. The tune shader involves only changes to the core rendering configuration and shader files, so it doesn't matter what project we use. Looking in the Explorer panel, we see the midday shading environment, which is an entity describing different parameters of our shader and rendering system, such as anti-aliasing, lighting, and with the tune code integrated into our project, we now have a component for tune rendering as well. The tune component exposes a number of properties that we can configure in the Stingray editor. Let's use them to toggle tune shading on and off. With tune shading enabled, a black outline is seen around all of the objects in the scene, and the number of colors is reduced. The net effect is that it looks like the scene was hand-drawn by an artist. The tune shader is actually two separate effects, edge detection and color quantization. The debugging knobs exposed by the tune component enable us to toggle these effects and view them separately. This is the tune shader with color quantization alone. And this is with edge detection only and no color quantization. Let's now take a closer look at edge detection. Edge detection is based on the depth buffer. And as we can see, in the depth buffer, there are very distinct outlines along each of the construction cones. By applying an edge detection filter to this result, we obtain part of the edges that are seen in our tune shader. However, we're still missing the edges from the bottom of the construction cone. We can obtain that from the normal buffer. Here we have edge detection applied to the data we have in the normal buffer, not the depth buffer. By combining the two effects, we get a complete edge. Now let's look at the two different edge detectors working together. This is our tune shader with both edge detection on the normal buffer and on the depth buffer. This is without the detection on the normal buffer. We miss edges around the bottom of the cones. And this is without edge detection on the depth buffer. So we can see that both effects need to be turned on in order to get a full outline. So that's all for today's video. Again, please see the tutorial write-up linked to in the notes for this video for a much more detailed explanation and discussion of tune shaders in Stingray. 